In this video, let's first quickly look the subs features and parameters, and then what kind of box would work for it, and lastly I give you some box design recommendations. You can have this 10 in sub made by Monaco around 80 euros. They advertise this sub to be suitable quote for any base application in hi-fi, home cinema and car hi-fi systems and for three-way combinations. That said, the voice call still is quite large and the incrustance of 1.1 millihenries, so that will somewhat limit the higher frequency output. We are interested about the sub bass performance, and Monaco advertises this sub to have got perfect parameters for very deep bass reproduction in small bass reflex cabinets and bandpass cabinets. I calculated FNC bandwidth product to be 96.3 for this sub. And when simulating this sub, it seems to work quite well in smaller vented boxes. I only wish it would have more Axmax. Monaco has all the needed parameters for this sub on their website. But I'm rating this datasheet 1 out of 3. Power handling is strangely marked per voice coil. And we have resistance and inductance for single and parallel voice coils, but not the other info, like the electrical Q, what is affected depending how you connect this up. So, lack of that information is not good. Let's first simulate this sub in two different size sealed and then same size small and large vented enclosures. And we can see that indeed this sub works well in even smaller vented. This last example was flat calculation using MH Audio website calculator. And it shows that we don't want to go too small, that leads lengthy ports and over excursion. Excursion-wise, these vented boxes dominate the sealed, so I don't see any reason to go with the sealed with this subwoofer. There are other subs that work better for sealed. That brings us to my recommendations. Three vented and two bandpass examples. Even this 25 liter box performs well. Extra volume gives opportunity to gain low-end extension. Both bandpass enclosures are much larger. Parallel bandpass enclosure is tuned higher to give better excursion handling. And this series tuned enclosure has F3 about 30 Hz. Other axis is delay and it is good. Next draft shifts things a little bit, so these are responses with maximum drive voltage when the linear excursion is starting to pass. Test line, example here, shows the where the Axmax starts to limit. When we looked at the bandpass enclosures, we see that because they are limited how hard we can drive them, even though they are more sensitive, actually the small vented ends up loudest. Not much, but considering how much larger these boxes are, the small vented is good choice. Impedance shown here in the other axes. For the conclusion, I would say that this sub delivers what it's set up to do. It works well in smaller size vented boxes. All these vented boxes are good choices, but note that with the extra air volume, you get low end extension, but loose power handling, meaning that you basically will hit the excursion limit faster. For low power systems, you can mess around with the bandpass if you are willing to tinker and test and tune your box, and also you don't have any space limitations. Most of the people vented deliveries nicely even with the variety 
of box sizes if the tuning is kept checked. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you find this video helpful.